on the central coast have urged local councils to lobby the state government over a proposed exploration in the area. The peaceful demonstration was also about talking to the public about the controversial mining. Our land, our water, our future was this gathering's catch cry. Concerned people of the Central Coast voicing their opposition to proposed coal seam gas mining in the area. True democracy is people ruling, people having the public servants who are politicians actually stepping up and doing what it is we're wanting them to do, uh, and not being ruled by big money and big mining companies. Converging on Energy Minister Chris Harcher's office, the call was for all forms of government to band together. I encourage any local members to please come together and engage with other councils, local councils in other areas, to come together as a force. For local resident Chris McKenzie, it's a process that shouldn't be considered. It's unknown exactly how much of this gas actually escapes through this fracking process and moves into other aquifer levels which will affect everything all down the line. Uh, to me, a government that would even consider this gamble with their, with their nation's health is verging on treason. Harcher today accused protesters of seeking to disrupt the energy supply of more than 31,000 Central Coast homes connected to natural gas, indicating the domestic production is essential to securing long-term gas supply. The movement continued their mission in front of a lunchtime crowd at Gosford's Kibble Park in a theatrical display of action. Central Coast, how much money you have coming oh, your way. It's the best opportunity. I'd rather see Australia a, uh, a tourist attraction for our pristine environment like we've got here on the beautiful Central Coast instead of poisoning our water and wrecking our children's future. Michael Kane, NBN News.